So in this video I'm going to talk about Dremelart and two of its biggest stories to date. Let's talk about reports about Landmaker and Yami Mesh being pedophiles. First I'd just like to say that I'm not a fan of neither of them and that I'm actually Kim subscriber. With that being said, I think those two don't deserve to be harassed like that by Kimstar. Of course, there are some premonitions about those two being pedophiles, especially for Linemaker. But without some proper and crucial evidence, you just can't attack them like that. Uh, the thing that offended me the most is Kim's post in which he says, quote, ban him from all gaming events. I think he really needs to slow down. If the police is involved in this, then yes, this is a serious issue. But you can't just go and say that without him telling his side of the story. Yen Mesh isn't big trouble now it seems since he failed to address the issue. And okay, that stands, but you still can't give a man treatment like that or one piece of evidence. And that evidence could well be proven to be fake. And that's the main topic of this video. These two might be guilty or not, but in the future we have to expect more and more reports of new YouTube pedos. Why? Because some people will see this as an opportunity to be in the center of attention and if they're YouTubers gain a lot of subs. How? Well, they can always forge fake evidence and just go to drama alert. And there are some people who can do it really well, just for their minute of fame. It might have been done already, some of the evidence against Landmaker seems little fishy. Of course, most of it seems pretty fair and he himself tweeted that he had a relationship with Fendable Page and she's a 16 year old. But some other evidence, like those three friends that were in Kim's latest uh, with about one maker, have some pretty pointless stories. Especially the first guy, who seems pretty nervous when telling us about his experiences. Of course, all three of them might be telling the truth, but Kim has to ensure that he doesn't make a video of every guy that has possibly false evidence against other YouTuber. If he does that, we should expect people making false evidence of biggest YouTube stars like PewDiePie or Mark Blair being pedo. I hope Kim ensures that not happening and I hope he'll be more calm in the future. He can be too mad and direct most of the time. I have one of Linemaker's tweets of Kim and Linemaker's chat. In it you can see that Kim doesn't want to talk to Linemaker Instead, he just tells him, come to my show. And I think most of the problems like this can be solved with talking and Kim needs to work on that. Constantly attacking people won't help the situation. If they are guilty, try to let them open themselves to you and give them a chance to tell their side of the story. If they don't, then you can start attacking them. And yeah, that's just my opinion though. Let me know yours in the comments. Thank you for watching.